have our Uncommon Art on the Common, and it's a wonderful fall day where the town comes together and all artists throughout um, New England come and share their products. It's a beautiful day. We have paintings, we have aprons, we have all types of creations for many artists, and it's just been a beautiful day, and people have been so positive about it, and we've got wonderful music. Entertainment is the best. We also have raffles because in November we're going to be setting up lighting on the common and we're going to all our raffle and our money goes towards uh, putting the lights on the common and we're looking to add more this year. Each year we look to add a little more. So our fundraiser is for lighting the common. Last year we had it, and it, did, it it was a really good debut. We had uh, several vendors last year, um, some music, but with COVID, the pandemic, we really couldn't potentiate the event because people weren't out and about at that point. So this year the, the turnout is really much more robust. We see a lot of Walpole residents here and actually some people from out of town too. Uh, the turnout is much better. The food selection has increased. We have a wine garden, which uh, many people are very, very pleased about. Can you tell me about what you're doing with Destination Downtown? I am with Destination Downtown because I've been in Walpole for like 45 years and I'm looking to beautify Walpole to encourage people to come live in Walpole and we work with businesses and business is so important and we have a wonderful downtown so we look to beautify Walpole, um, encourage people to come down, visit the businesses and we support the businesses also in downtown Walpole. So um, that's why I'm part of Destination Downtown. Our thought, our mission was um, with Destination Downtown, with events like this, to um, not only bring people downtown, but to bring them together. And this was a good venue to do that, so it's been very nice. Tell me about your business. Uh, so it's called KT Stone and Sea, and um, I just started it during the pandemic. I've always collected rocks and shells from the ocean, and I just needed something to do. So this is actually my first showing, my first ever doing any of this. Uh, I've never sold it before. I've never done any other thing. So this is really just my totally first time trying to do it, and so far so good. Um, it's just been fun to do, and I, I like making jewelry, and I love you know going to the beach so who doesn't so that's basically how I got started and I've just it's kind of a work in progress and I have my family members here helping me out um, working on social media which is not my strong point by any mind, but it's been fun snug bug sweaters um, it's uh, hand knit children's sweaters that my mom makes I always say I'm not the knitter I'm just the one that does the heavy lifting and you know and accepts the credit cards but um, yeah, we've been doing it for uh, 11 years. I actually moved to Walpole two years ago, and we always did shows in Boston. And so when I saw this, I said, you know, this is my new hometown. And so I wanted to promote, you know, and show everyone our work to now where I live. How's it been going today? How's your table been? It's been great. It actually, it's been really great. Um, I didn't know because, it, you know, this is something I've never done before, but it's been a great turnout and gorgeous day. So yeah, it's been really, Really good day so far. I live in Walpole, and this is my first time doing Uncommon Art on the Common. Um, I have been running a gallery in Norwood for 13 years that closed down for COVID while they do renovations. And so this has been just a perfect day to come out and share art with the people that are local and some of the local scenes I've painted. It's been a great day, a bit windy but otherwise perfect, and um, it's fun to see art going to new homes with people who have a very special connection to the things they've bought today. Um, 
um, it's been really interesting the stories the people tell about the paintings they pick and um, really happy we did it. I run Phyllis and Elsie which is a handcrafted jewelry um, all sterling silver semi-precious stones I use a lot of really colorful stones um, most of my work is inspired by nature I do a lot of small animals and a lot of things that are sort of reminiscent of plants and bugs and really try to just be inspired by the natural world. I started doing jewelry just as a hobby when I was a little kid, kind of middle school I did craft fairs, um, but then I majored in industrial design and jewelry metalsmithing at MassArt in Boston. I knew someone who knew someone who was helping run the event and they let me know about it and it seemed like a, a great opportunity and I'm really glad. Has it been a good day for it's the been people? It's a really, really good day. It's been uh, surprising how well, you know, it's been the first fair I've done in about 10 years, um, so I was kind of keeping my expectations low because it's been a while since I've done it and it's really been a great day. I'm super glad that I came out.